Okay, folks. Today, we're doing a pretty exciting beer. Um, we're currently in the Isle of Man. I am. Katie's in the other room. We're at a hotel right now. Um, and uh, I brought this beer with me so that I could do it today. Um, <clears throat> it's actually right around midnight tonight. So, but... Uh, it's September 17th in the States, so it still counts. Um, we're doing Goose Island, Bourbon County, Barley Wine, and it is 2013, and it was bottled on 17th of September, 2013. So, exactly 11 years old. Very cool. Uh, yeah, it's 12.1% alcohol by volume. Um, my friend Tom gave this to me, like, he gave this to me, like, back in 2016 or 2017. It was one of the, it was, he gave this to me, like, uh, it was one of the first beers he ever gave to me. Um, but yeah, I'm finally opening it. I've been meaning to do this. Uh, last year I was going to do it on, uh, the 17th, but did not because it was a busy weekend. Um, and yeah, so. This tape has been on it since at least he gave it to me. So maybe, maybe earlier than that. It's got a little 13 on the top. I don't know if you can see that. The, uh, I'm just doing this real quick and I don't have, I didn't bring my mic. I was supposed to, I was supposed to get a mic, but it, got here the day we left, after we left, instead of, it was supposed to get there either the day before or two days before, so, so yeah, sorry about audio, if that's an issue, come on. So yeah, it's definitely brown, dark brown, a little bit of red in there, maybe a little purplish as well. Not much of a head. Um, oh, it's also aged in bourbon barrels. I missed that part. So it's a bourbon barrel aged bar. Um, yeah, not much of a head. And, uh, it's maybe like khaki-ish color, probably uh, a little bit darker than that. Um, but yeah, let's see what it smells like. There's a nice chocolate note. It's weird, I got some dark fruits when I first started smelling it and now I'm getting like mostly Mostly chocolate notes. There's some bourbon in there. There's there's a nice barrel character in there. A little bit of char. A little bit of coconut. Oh, that's cool. Um, it's, I think I've heard uh, Kyle from No Hype Beer Reviews use this before, but it kind of, it tastes, kind of smells like vanilla frosting, but not as sweet. Yeah, some of those dark fruits are starting to come out. Um, the two I, I can pick out are dates and raisins. Those are the two. Yeah, it smells pretty good. So if you're watching this, thank you, Tom. And cheers.
Then take one more second. The chocolate notes, it's really big in this. <clears throat> the reason I took a few sips was because on the first sip, I got this kind of like oaky, but like almost this uh, astringent, is that the word? Um, and then on the second sip, I didn't really get it. So I took a third sip to just see whether or not it was there. And I got it a little bit on the third sip. So it's a little, it, it, it kind of comes and goes. Like it kind of comes in the, the middle, then it goes pretty quick. And then it's, and then it's all smooth sailing from there. I think there's a little oxidation. Yeah, a little bit. But it's got this like kind of almost creamy mouthfeel. <clears throat> this is good. I get a little bit of the vanilla thing. Definitely get, definitely get the barrel. Get a little less of the charriness than I was getting in, in the aroma. Um, did I already say the vanilla? There's a little bit of the vanilla. It comes off a little differently though. It doesn't come off like frosting. Actually, it kind of does, kind of like vanilla frosting, but but without the sweetness, or or with less sweetness, however you wanna um, quantify that. Yeah, the dark the dark fruit. Dark fruits in this way more, way more generic than than I was kind of expecting. Uh, not a bad way. Just uh, I don't think I would specifically say anything. There's like because that chocolate note is so big. Um, there's almost a chocolate covered raisin kind of thing in there raising it but it's but it's more like chocolate covered generic dried fruit kind of thing or something or are raisins dried fruit or are they I don't know I don't know so this is good. I like this. I'm gonna get in bed and I'm gonna finish this. And this review will be up sometime after I get back. But uh, happy, happy 11 years to this beer. It's pretty good. And uh, I'm tired. It's been a long day. I'll put more on that in a in another video. So, uh, possibly even before this goes up. So you'll probably know about it if you're even watching this right now. Um, so yeah, thanks for hanging out. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this video if you like to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram ninety three. Well, that 93 lumber and we will see you in the next one